Alrighty folks, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you may notice I'm not feeling very well, uh, I missed yesterday's uh, live stream because I was just far too ill and so instead of recording this earlier on in the week like I planned, I'm recording this this morning. I don't know why I looked at my wrist, it's like a clock but I don't have a watch there, <coughs> excuse me, and I also realised that um, through no design, I'm actually wearing the same t-shirt I wore when I did my Ask Me Anything uh, you know, intro video, which was uh, bizarre. So uh, I'm actually wearing the same t-shirt as I did back then. So anyway, let's get on with this. So first of all, we're going to do a bit of a studio update, a bit of a hobby update kind of issue. And as you can see behind me, uh, I've had a rearrange, and if anybody of you, any of you, have happened to be watching me on uh, following me on my social media specifically on Instagram or perhaps Facebook you will notice that earlier on this week I was doing uh, lots of moving around and I was clearing a lot of space out because my fantastic wife decided that she was going to allow me to expand the amount of space that I was using in this room so if I grab the camera here just a little bit and I can show you uh, we have the camera, uh, we have my desk, which is absolutely covered in rubbish at the minute. My uh, photo booth has moved to where my wife used to have her computer. And we have my air booth, obviously, as it always is, back in the corner near the uh, back room. And uh, the back wall, of course, is uh, more hobby-related stuff. But what that does mean is that the center of the room is now much, much clearer. <coughs> Excuse me. That means that uh, <coughs> overall, uh, there's more space in here, which means that I should be able to start getting some uh, guests in the studio. And uh, I have some plans for having some uh, new videos, which will require those of you who wish to uh, come along and record some videos with me are going to be able I've had a couple of people already uh, lined up and who are interested in doing it so if you happen to be one of those people or if you want to uh, get in touch and uh, perhaps you would like to come along and film some stuff throw me a message and we'll have a chat all right other than that uh, it's usually biz, normally business as usual around here. Uh, I'm still doing uh, lots of filming and lots of uh, commission painting as always. Uh, currently, if I show you, I'll move the camera again in a minute. But we have, actually I'll do it now, we have lots of videos uh, coming up. Um, we have a Patriarch going on. You can see just here, uh, some videos are coming along in that. You currently have... A Gene Steeler Cult Aberrant, so there's uh, one of these at the back there, as well as the Myphitic Blight Hauler. But in the future, all of those primed models there, we will start doing some videos for all of those at some point, including uh, how I do my Gene Steelers. So there's uh, lots of videos planned so far. Uh, we've got lots of things coming up forward, lots of projects. Now, of course, my Patreons all get to see those early. As soon as they're done, they get uploaded to Patreon. Uh, but on YouTube, I release them once a week, usually. Um, <coughs> other than that, business as usual. So we still have our videos on a Monday night where I still open up the Conquest magazine, which the box is just there. And also on Thursdays where, so far... I'm covering it. I'm doing uh, the old Canon S Viridian, I think his name is, isn't it? So I'll be doing her over the next. Obviously, I missed last week, yesterday's, because of uh, being quite ill. But overall, yeah, I think that's a decent update. I think that's what we're doing. Uh, so we've got some plans for the future, uh, some new videos, some new series coming out, um, and uh, and lots of videos coming about how to paint and how I do my painting, which is nice. Uh, so now I'm going to get to the questions because my voice is going to disappear reasonably soon. And I have some in front of me here from my patrons. And then uh, uh, you may have noticed as I was padding around, I have the questions up on YouTube from the video that I did at the beginning of the month. So we'll do some Patreon ones first. 
which is nice and simple. Um, I can't remember exactly who sent me these uh, sent me these questions, so I do apologise. But you know who you are. These are all patrons, and then I'll go on to the YouTube ones as well. And the first one on top of my list is where do I see myself in five years' time? It almost seems like a job interview question, but <laughs> I do have lots of plans for the future. Uh, the very next uh, project that we have got going on, uh, the very next uh, step for the studio in in the hole, is uh, the shed. You may have noticed, you may remember, I did a video a few months ago where I went back into my back garden to show you the space where that's going to go. This room itself is needed for the family. Uh, it's going to become a bedroom, so. Uh, I need to get out of here altogether, really, rather than just keep expanding it. And so, uh, I want to plan to get out into the shed where I'll be able to have even more space than I do now. And I think, yeah, in five years' time, I want to be out there doing those sorts of things. I may even have uh, some more regular people coming in and doing some videos. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, definitely in five years' time, I want to be out in the shed. Uh, because I've got lots of plans once I get in there. Uh, the next question I had is, what's my best painting tip? Uh, the best painting tip I could give you is just take it easy. Um, I think, you know, you could go down the lines of giving people painting tips as on uh, uh, keep a look after your brushes and or make sure you keep changing the water or anything like that. But I think one of the best things to do when you're painting is don't pressure yourself. Um, I think I think that's basically my ethos here at, on the channel is you know you can paint whatever you want, how, do how, however you want. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just try and enjoy what you're doing. If you're not enjoying it, you're never going to get any better, um, and you're never going to like your work. So uh, yeah best painting tip I think I could give is to uh, take it easy you know don't 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 pressure yourself and don't put yourself under too much too much pressure excuse me <coughs> uh, what brushes do I use um, series 7 as well as some Cotman's uh, Winter and Newton Cotman's from the range and then some cheap ones that I get from uh, the range as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much easy. I do use Series 7, um, but then I also grab some cheap brushes from uh, the local art supplies and just throw some paint out with those. Favourite paint colour? It's difficult. That's a difficult one, actually. Uh, red, because of Blood Angels, I suppose. Um, I'm not... I don't really have a favourite paint colour itself. I mean, I have a favourite colour. It's red. I like red, uh, which is why I started playing Blood Angels. But I don't think I have a favourite paint. Although, actually, I do like the Tamiya XF85, I think it is, the rubber black. It's a really nice colour to get uh, a really matte rubber look to your, to black. It's a really nice colour. I do like using that, though. Uh, what got me into the hobby? Huh. Well, the thing is, actually, to be honest with you, the what got me into hobby was I was sitting around at home for a long time. Uh, I couldn't work. Um, I was at home, uh, not doing anything, getting really bored, really depressed. <coughs> and so I started looking for a hobby, basically. I was just looking for any hobby. Um, and this was back before AOS. Uh, before Age of Sigma overtook fantasy so I was looking at the games which I happened to yeah you know, I did a Google search hobbies you know and uh, <coughs> yeah and I found uh, the games workshop website now obviously yeah I'm British I know of games workshop long before I actually looked into it but yeah I, I just found uh, the fantasy uh, section looked quite interesting I wasn't interested in 40k and then I just did some YouTube videos and I uh, had a look at that and then it wasn't until I actually had some money to spend on the hobby then I found out that you know the plans that I'd made looking at the uh, Warhammer Fantasy stuff didn't exist anymore and I was like oh uh, okay 
uh, and then I just took a punt on 40k and uh, yeah and then that kind of just started me off basically <clears throat> and what is the favorite part of my hobby of course is the painting um, you know the playing I don't play 40k anymore uh, because I don't enjoy I don't know what it is I don't enjoy but I don't enjoy the 40k as much as I used to uh, so I stopped playing that kill team is great uh, but it hasn't really kicked off as much as I had hoped it would um, and I'm a terrible teacher at games I think I tried teaching some people f kill team and you know I'm not as <coughs> it hasn't grasped people as much as it has for me so I think I see something in Kill Team that's a little bit different than most, um, but uh, what I do really enjoy, and I still will always, is painting. That is the best part of my hobby. Uh, and what keeps me in the hobby, even with the high price? Um, that's a difficult one. Uh, it is quite expensive. Um, I think... <coughs> I think doing this channel, to be honest, uh, keeping it, doing this channel and giving more and more uh, models, that that keeps me going. Excuse me. <coughs> All right, I think I need to uh, come towards the end of this. Uh, <coughs> what's the favourite model I've ever painted? Um, excuse me, I. Uh, I thought I would have these sorts of things uh, planned and I don't really have uh, anything I don't know I, I don't have a favorite model that I've painted um, I like it when I um, when I finish a model and I've really put the effort in and I've leveled up my painting I always find those models really nice um, but I don't think anything really stands out from me um, as a favourite that I've ever done uh, what's my least favourite model that I've painted, oh man it was a commission that I did uh, of Seraphon Guard from Age of Sigma, it was a commission and uh, this was before this was before I appreciated dry brushing and I highlighted every scale on about 50 Seraphon Guard that nearly broke me it was a long time it was one of the first commissions i'd done as well and it was a nightmare that was terrible um and if if money was no object i like this one if money was no object what model would you buy smaug 250 quid the one from gw smaug oh that's a lovely model i would love to have a big dragon like that 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 is a model i do want <laughs> uh and if money was no restriction, what army would you buy? Ooh, all of them. Um, I'm not a fan. Uh, maybe you know, maybe Elder look a bit small and scrawny. Um, but I would really enjoy the challenge of buying all of the armies for forty k and having you know all of them. You know, not necessarily every model, but having a nice rounded army for all of them in my own style, which is fantastic. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and then to round off, we'll just go through some of the YouTube questions uh, from uh, last time. Um, uh, Animated Gar asked what was my favourite part of the hobby. I've already answered that one, which was. Uh, the painting uh, Billy Pate concerning 40k what is your favorite and least favorite factions okay I'm, I love Blood Angels I love the story uh, it's what got me into 40k in the beginning with that's my favorite it just I love the Blood Angels the duality of them <coughs> excuse me uh, the duality of 40k uh, of the Blood Angels my least favorite <sighs> I don't know. I really have a least favourite. I think uh, most of them have a really nice, uh, have their own pros and cons in terms of story. Um, 
in, you know, I mean, the Gene Steeler Colts, I don't necessarily enjoy model wise or story wise, but they, no, I don't really necessarily associate Gene Steeler Colts with a nice story, but they do have some really cool models. Um, yeah, I don't know about least favorite. Um, that's a difficult one. Maybe I'll have to think about that again for another, another, uh, another month. Uh, what inspired me to start a YouTube channel? This from Idik Beer himself. Um, I want to show people that painting was not difficult. That was the biggest thing I wanted to do. Is that you know you could have a look at the heavy metal painters uh, and the Golden Demon winners and some of the best painters all over the internet, and you know they're very very good. <laughs> And, uh, you know, they have got some amazing painting. It takes a lot of practice to get that good, of course. And you have to keep doing it. But I was... I kind of wanted to show people that good painting can be done out of the gate. It just... You have to not be so... Uh, <coughs> rigid excuse me, like I was when I first started. I was very stuck in my ways. I wanted to edge highlight everything. I wanted every model to be as best as it possibly could be, as most painters are. You know, I want all of my models to be the best I could possibly make them. But, you know, over time, it doesn't work that way. And so, yeah, I want to show people that, you know, if you don't, if you don't stick to rigid, and if you just enjoy yourself, throw some paint at a model, you know, quite literally sometimes, you'll make some really good uh, models. And it, and it can be fun. <coughs> um, uh, what game of Viking, where would you like your channel to be in one, game, one year's time? Pretty much the same as five years' time, only if I can do it in a year, then uh, that would be good as well, yeah. Um, <coughs> Lots of lots of guests, lots more videos, and uh, a much more solid structure. And if I could do the shed in that time, then I'll do that. Uh, <coughs> what do you do for a living? How much m a month do you spend on this hobby? Sorry, it's two questions from Basic Miniature Painting. Well, uh, how much do I, a month do I spend is too much. Um, and uh, what do I do for a living? Well, I can't really work very well, so uh, I spend a lot of time... Uh, looking after the people in my house and that's kind of more personal than anything uh, but other than that this pretty much is about close to a real job as I've got uh, it doesn't pay anything um, not hardly anything but uh, yeah this is pretty much what I do so uh, what is my main motivation for the hobby is it lore, gaming, painting or wonderful mix of all three from Big Mac Dance Girl mostly painting uh, but I do enjoy I do enjoy the law, but I don't have the time to sit and read the books very much. So, mostly painting, and uh, I tend to—I seem to have gone off gaming for a bit, but it might return at some point. Excuse me. I tend to enjoy. I tend to try and enjoy it rather than pressure myself into it. It's much like the painting, and so rather than push myself to game, if I seem to have gone off it for a bit, just step back. It, it's only a game at the end of the day. And then hopefully we'll, I'll pick it back up again at some point. So that's pretty much all of the time is. I am really starting to struggle now with my voice. So thank you for joining me along. Thank you for the questions. I want to do the same thing again next month. And I might wear a different t-shirt this time. Um, so feel free to throw some questions in the comments below. I will do this. Uh, this is the... Uh, so this is the official ask me anything but also the official where to put your questions um, in the future so feel free put them down in the comments if you've got anything else you want to ask me if I didn't get to your question I do apologize hopefully I can get to that next month and I'll feel better as well uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this one I hope you enjoyed having a look around the studio what I managed to get done this week and uh, we'll see what next week looks like as well all right so i am gonna go and find a corner to crawl up in and i'll say thank you for watching this one i'll catch you in the next one all right Dara. <laughs>